Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. As you can see from the actual title, today I'm going to show you how to install Fireshare on your Docker. Fireshare is a nice project if you want to host your own videos, uh, snippets or video for your uh, YouTube channel, for example, for your uh, audience. And you can do a lot of things with it, even though it's extremely easy to, to use and to get started with. Don't forget to like it and subscribe and click on the bell icon so you get notified every time i make a new video for this installation i'm going to use portainer and i'm going to create a new stack where i'm going to copy and paste the docker compose file content that i'm going to get from the github page all the information in the description below as usual i also going to upload this one into my guest uh, so it will be easy for you to find out so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one here and I'm going to go to my portainer and I'm going to create a new stack. I'm going to call it Fireshare and I'm going to paste my content here. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the port because 88 is already been used. So in this case, I'm going to do 8899. I know exactly that has not been used yet. And I'm going to change my PUID and my PGID to my username. How do you do that? That's very simple. So the first thing to do, I'm going to, ch you know, I'm going to show you how to get your PIUD, PGID. I'm going to my terminal and I'm already logged in for the actual server. Now, usually I type ID, that's as simple as that, and the username. In this case, it's going to be HAL. And as you can see as well, it's 1000 and 1000. So PG, you got so it doesn't matter, really matter what you actually type. At the end of the day, you're going to get the same thing, PGID and PUID, exactly as is here. So it's 1000 and 1000. So everything looks good. Uh, the minutes between the video scans, I'm going to leave it to five. The volumes are exactly the same. I do not need a database for this. The secret key, I'm going to replace it with something random string. And again, it's up to you how you do it. Make sure it's secret. For this demonstration, logically, it will be okay. And once I'm happy, all I gotta do is deploy the stack. Now, this one did take a little, you know, when I done it uh, before, it did take a little bit of time. So don't be, you know, don't think that doesn't work. Technically, it's taking time. For the username and password here, I'm gonna leave admin, admin, but make sure you also use a strong password, okay? So I'm gonna deploy the stack. And I'm going to wait until the installation is done. Right, so the stack has been deployed. Let's go to the containers. And as you can see, Fireshare has been loaded. Now I'm going to press on the logs and have a look if everything looks okay. It looks everything is being started properly. Now let's go back to the containers. And I'm going to click on the link ports here where it's going to load up. And as you can see, Everything looks okay. Of course, there is no videos. I'm going to log in here. And of course, for me, it's admin, admin. And as you can see, that has been done properly. Now, let's expand this one here. We got my video, we got public videos, and we got the settings. Now, I can allow public uploads if I wanted to. Show public uploads cards. Here, I got the uh, shareable link uh, domain I'm gonna leave it as it is as the IP here again if you attach a domain it will be exactly the same you can use your domain we got the public um, upload folder I'm gonna leave it as it is and the other main folder is gonna be uploads one has been done you're gonna save it if there is anything changed as you can see that'll become blue otherwise nothing's there so it will not be no changes now, uh, the actual default video privacy, I'm going to change that to public. I'm going to save it. As it may take a minute to get done. So this is the actual uh, settings. Let's go to public videos. There we go, my videos. And here you can actually scan the actual um, videos. Now, let me show you something here first. Let's go back to Portainer. Let's go to Stacks. Let's go to file share. Let's go to editor 
and now we actually see where the actual videos are being uploaded this is the actual folder for the videos right so this is where you are going to upload your files again with the file share you can actually click on the icon if you don't see the icon just go here and allow uh i think this one here the upload for the other main here if it's for the public just in case you don't see it default video privacy you want to turn that on okay so let's go back here and this is how you actually upload your files it does take a few minutes depends how big is your connection again if you upload directly to your folder let me show you what i'm talking about if i go to con um, containers let go to the bash let me log in ls if i do videos cd there now if you do eftp let me go back on this one here you can actually sftp your docker and you just upload the video in this way all right you could do that otherwise you can actually choose to use the upload card once has been uploaded you just need to refresh it to see the actual upload as you can see here now if you don't see it the video you just click on those icons to see the list the list or you actually see the thumbnails and as you can see all i got to do is do this and it works now let me go back again you upload and do whatever you need to do you can actually edit add your description once you're happy with that just press save here it tells you all the information of the views here you can get the actual link and if you got a domain attached you get the actual thing there and it works automatically by showing you the video okay that's the way it works so that's how simple it is to get started and install FireShare on your docker so guys thank you so much for joining me for this small and fast tutorial i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and share subscribe and click on the bell icon and i'll see you next time